It's good to see everybody live. Another beautiful Wednesday late morning here in Southern California. Mitch Jackson, along with my Maneuver co-founder, Garrett Jackson, coming to you live on all the socials and from the metaverse. Garrett, always good to see you, my friend. Good to see you, too. So what do we have in store today? We're going to show everyone how easy it is to create an avatar in the metaverse. Oftentimes, I'm asked, Mitch, who do I get to create these for me? Or how complicated is it to create an avatar? And it's super easy. It's super fast. And so what Garrett and I are going to show everyone is how to, for example, if you look at Garrett in our live feed from our urban metaverse, he's waving. Come a little closer, Garrett. Okay. And you can see that that's an avatar that Garrett quickly and easily created using some of the tools we're going to share with everyone today. But Garrett, I want to invite everyone, whether they're watching this on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, on several of the other platforms we're broadcasting live to. If you have questions about anything that we say, if you uh, aren't sure what links that we're talking about, message us. You can actually communicate with us in real time in the comments. And we'll do our best to try to respond in real time, or maybe after the show, we'll reach out privately and share the links and resources with you. And by the way, everybody, Maneuver is a company that Garrett and I uh, started earlier this year just for people like you, entrepreneurs, creators, and artists that want to learn how to leverage and tap into the power of the metaverse and to do it easily and quickly. And our website's over at maneuver.io. But enough about that. Let's show everyone how easy it is to create a, uh, an avatar. So we are in one of our spaces. It's our urban space. It's put together by M2 Studios, Garrett, you know that. And yeah. it's one of our favorite studios. What I wanna do before we jump over to the avatar is let me go ahead and do a quick scan so everyone can see what this studio looks like. Amazing. Those I portals up I do too. Those portals up there, when you click on them, they'll take you to other venues, our metaverse penthouse, our ski chalet, our French Riviera, conference rooms, whatever it might be. But this is the space that we're in right now via M2 Studios, along with some of their other umbrella companies. And so to create an avatar, what you need to do is click down at the bottom of your screen on your laptop or desktop. And when I click that button, it brings up options. And what Garrett and I have found, and this is, this is me, this is my avatar. And what Garrett and I have found is by using the tools and resources available with Ready Player Me, it allows you to create avatars on the fly. It allows you to change avatars just like this. What's your favorite feature so far, Garrett, about uh, Ready Player Me? This Ready Player Me has just another level of depth and creativity to where you can either make it exactly the type of character you want in the metaverse, you could also make it you in the metaverse. So I try to get as close to myself as possible. I hope we can see here a nice side by side. <laughs> Absolutely. That Not looks exactly it looks exactly like you. It's 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 Long hair. well, you know, but but it's not a coincidence because Ready Player Me allows us to use our facial video mm -hmm. and attach it using AI onto a body. So let's go through a couple of the quick ways to create an avatar. Once you click and enter your avatar settings, this is what you see. You have different avatars that are already set up. You can customize your avatars, which is what I've done. If I hit the edit key what you're going to see are other avatars that I've already set up in the past. For example, I have a business ad avatar. And if I just click select, watch what happens. Boom. Done. Right? <laughs> ready, for the, ready for my next business meeting, Garrett. Yep. If I wanted to roll with Garrett and his boys into something a little bit more crazy and I wanted to fit in, I could go with an avatar like this. And now we have the metaverse lawyer. So I want everyone to see how easy that is. So if you're just starting off with creating an avatar, there are a couple of things you can do. Down here, you're going to see Create Ready Player Me Avatar or Use Realistic Head. I'm gonna click 
create ready player me avatar and show everyone how to create an avatar on the fly from the very beginning because these were already set up you're going to click create a new avatar i'm going to go with masculine i'm going to go ahead and pick a picture of my face from a file on my computer i could take a picture from my laptop i can continue without a photo and allow, allow the program to allow me to use settings to create a picture that kind of looks like me or i click pick a file let's see how this works garrett yeah this, is, this was my favorite part of the process it's it's really amazing mm -hmm. it's really amazing right so here's one of my typical boring business photos right i'm going to click accept and in five to ten seconds watch what happens it took my picture and actually created an image on top of this uh, Ready Player Me avatar. Now, I'm the first to admit it is being very kind <laughs> to how I look. All right. I just had a birthday a couple of days ago. I'm just going to leave it at that. But this is something that uh, the AI puts together, and we're real happy with the end result. What you can do is once you're creating a brand new avatar, there are different things you can do. You can select skin colors to best accommodate uh, how you look. We always like to, Garrett, uh, try to pick avatars and create images that, that are as real as possible so that when I'm meeting a client in court or in a deposition, um, they recognize me. They know who I am. What are your mm -hmm. thoughts on, on, on what we select when creating our avatars? I think it's pretty important that, like you said, it's recognizably you. Uh, I think a lot of people uh, get caught up in what they could do with their characters. And then, but that's what's cool about Ready Player Me is you showed that you can have multiple avatars. So obviously you upload the picture, it gives you something close to what you look like and you work with it. And I think that's what you can use in a business sense, but you can always save whatever outfits, whatever customization you want for other times too. As people are watching, I'm selecting different facial characteristics uh, different things to wear as an avatar. And so you can select an avatar like this that's kind of kicked back and, and casual. Maybe this avatar would be very comfortable on the French Riviera, Garrett. Mm -hmm. Or I can go with something a little bit more traditional. And let me move over to, you know, a business suit. But I'm going to stick with, for this example, the shorts, because for those of you that know me, you know that's how I roll. Yep. <laughs> let, me, let me see if I can get the uh, bar to come all the way back over. And uh, okay, we're going to go with this person. You can select different hairstyles, whatever <laughs> is whatever is appropriate for you. Uh, you know, different options when it comes to eye color. My blue eyes. You can put on some sunglasses just to have some fun. You can put on a hat. If you'd like, I'm going to go, with, I'm going to go without a hat. And so anyway, when you're done with customizing your avatar, you click next ready player. Me puts everything together. It's almost magical. And when we're done, come on, ready player me jeopardy music. There we go. Oh. Hello. And there we go. So I'm going to click the save button and come back over into our space. So that's how easy it is in the spatial metaverse to create an avatar. Super easy. And yeah, it's, it's very easy to do. Now what Garrett and I wanted to do is take you over to the Ready Player Me website. So you can do this within Spatial or you can go to, and I'm grabbing the link, readyplayer.me. And this is what you'll find if you jump over to that website. I think I've already logged into my account, Garrett, so hopefully it'll pop up. Okay. And I know Ready Player Me was having a few hiccups over the last 24 hours. I think one reason, and this is a really cool marketing play, everyone. What they did is they teamed up with Tommy Hilfiger. And you can go in and select your clothing in a theoretical world. 
uh, that Tommy Hilfiger is offering. There you go. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I clicked that too fast. And um, what happens is it allows you to pick your clothing. And then as you're checking out, you can save the clothing that you've picked. Once again, it's from the Tommy Hilfiger line. And you can use it in spatial or other metaverses. But there's also an option to, to click and buy that clothing and wear it in real life. So I think that's a brilliant branding and marketing play. But as everyone can see, here are several of my Ready Player uh, Me avatars that are also available in the site that we just mentioned. Let me see. You know what I was looking for, Garrett, is mm -hmm. um, the connection that shows the Tommy Hilfiger options. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure I have that in front of me. So it, we're going. I was going to say the wardrobe. Yeah. So. Well, what I was going to say in the wardrobe is you can also have like, as I was showing, there's NFT um, avatars and outfits coming out. And I don't know if that might be the next phase of what, why it's been down is they're updating those type of features. We are live, but let's just see what comes up here. Ready player me. Yeah, I was just curious to see if it pops up. Here we go. This is the Ready Player Me Twitter space. Can you see that at your end, Garrett? Yep. So this is the Tommy Hilfiger, uh, parallel Tommy Hilfiger metaverse options. And what you can do is, for example, on the left is real life. On the right, with a couple of clicks, is what your avatar looks like um, wearing uh, Tommy's outfits. As I scroll down, you can see the difference between the left and right. And I just think this is a cool way to stand out on the metaverse. It's a cool way for companies to market their brands mm -hmm. and have some fun. And once again, the way you start is you simply pick an avatar. Why don't we just show everyone how to do it? Yeah, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna go ahead and and pick uh, I'm gonna pick this avatar right here. Click next. I pick an outfit. Let's see. It's pretty much just a matter of click and select. Let's go ahead with uh, this outfit right there. Add to cart, summary. There's my virtual outfit. Oh, this part isn't showing as well. Oh, is it not working? Mm -mm. I was switched over as well. Yeah, it's opening up in a new in a new. Uh, hang on a second. <clears throat> when Twitter opened up, it opened it up in a new window. There we go. That's showing. Okay, so let's say we wanted to go ahead and utilize this technology. You pick your avatar. Okay, let me accept the cookies. So I'm going to pick my avatar, my next step, pick the outfit. I mean, this does it get any easier than this? <laughs> Not at all. You can order this live, which is on the left. Okay. And uh, final step. You can claim your virtual outfit by sharing your email address. And if I do that, I'll be sent a link. Uh, allowing me to then add this outfit to, for example, my spatial account. You may see me, everyone, uh, tomorrow or the next day in this in this killer outfit. <laughs> you can also order these uh, outfits online, which is which is very very cool. In the real world, yeah, yeah, online for wearing and walking around in the real world. Absolutely. One other thing, Garrett, that's kind of cool. People have been commenting on is I recently did a. Um, interview from within the metaverse mm -hmm. and so what happened was <clears throat> was um uh, dragon and mark interviewed me on their podcast they've got a great nft uh, web3 podcast but we decided to give it a try from within the metaverse and 
we did audio and video. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, mute the uh, audio, but I want everyone to see what this looks like. And so where, where, where we are is in our ski chalet. I invite the, uh, the gentleman upstairs onto our wood uh, deck to kind of talk more about what we're talking about, which I thought was kind of cool. You know what else is cool is each of you are actually using a different avatar option. So you have a Ready Player in Me. Uh, Mark went ahead and uploaded. You can also, instead of uploading a Ready Player Me, your face, you can upload it directly to Spatial and try to get a realistic image rendered of your face, which Mark has here. Exactly. So Mark, put, yeah, exactly. And it's Dragon interesting. has the default. He has the default, which... which uh, sweet. It it's good. sweet and it's easy and it looks really, really good. So <laughs> let me come back. Oh, look at that skier. Is that you, Garrett? <laughs> yeah, live footage. All right. So what I want to do is let's go over to the Maneuver website real quick in the background just while we're wrapping up today's show. Uh, for those of you having challenges, you know, connecting, just keep trying. This is something where the more you do it, the easier it gets. But uh we're going to wrap up today with just a quick overview. This is uh, an outdoor shot of our Maneuver Penthouse Metaverse Suite. I like that, Garrett. I love it. The helicopter wasn't there last night. Did you borrow it for a while? Yeah, you know, the boys wanted a quick trip to the beach. And what can you say? Well, I, I, remind me not to leave the keys in the ignition. <laughs> so... This was fun. So uh, everyone, listen, don't uh, don't be intimidated about how hard you think this technology is. It's actually pretty easy to use. If you can create a Zoom and share a Zoom link, you can create an event, whether it's a one on one meeting or a one to, to 50 presentation just as easily in the metaverse. It's uh, very easy to select and create avatars as we've just shown you. And Garrett, if anybody has any questions about anything we've talked about, how can they best get in touch with, with us? What's the best way to get their questions answered? Best way to get your questions answered, I'd go to either our website or either of our LinkedIn's and connect with us there. Hit us with whatever you have. We're happy to help and looking forward to hearing questions. Absolutely. It's, it's really fun to help people transition or maneuver into the metaverse. Jump over to maneuver.io. Garrett and I and our team are here to help you. Whether you're looking for a quick turnkey solution that can be up and running as early as this afternoon or a customizable venue, something unique and special for your company or your next event, uh, we've partnered with the best of the best around the planet to make that happen. So thanks for joining us today. Thanks for walking through the avatar creation process that's working for us. And uh, thanks for your time and stopping by and joining us today during the show. Garrett, this was fun. Always good to see you, bud. Uh, we're going to be doing this once or twice a week. And between now and next time, enjoy the journey, everyone and never stop making each day your masterpiece. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye, everybody.